house was filled with an unsettling aura as I unwrapped the package containing the cursed portrait. Intricate brush strokes depicted a face twisted with an otherworldly malevolence. I could feel its piercing gaze following me, even though the eyes never moved. After hanging the portrait in my study, an eerie silence engulfed the room. At night, I would catch glimpses of shadows shifting within the painting, the figure seemingly moving closer with each passing day. Sleep became elusive as nightmares plagued my nights. I dreamt of the portrait's subject, whispering dark secrets into my ear, their cold breath chilling my skin. The dreams blurred the line between reality and the twisted world within the painting. Strange occurrences plagued my waking hours. Objects moved inexplicably, whispers echoed through empty hallways, and an oppressive presence lingered, suffocating the air. It was as if the curse of the portrait had permeated every inch of the house. The painting's influence seeped into my thoughts, planting seeds of doubt and paranoia. I could hear faint whispers in the wind beckoning me to surrender to the darkness that awaited within the portrait's depths. Driven by a morbid curiosity, I embarked on a quest to unravel the secrets of the cursed portrait. Research led me to an old journal, which spoke of a malevolent artist who had infused their own soul into their final masterpiece, a painting that ensnared the spirits of those who gazed upon it. Determined to break the curse, I sought guidance from a reclusive expert in occult arts. They warned me of the painting's insidious power, urging me to proceed with caution. Armed with newfound knowledge, I prepared for a battle against the unknown. In the dead of night, with trembling hands, I approached the portrait. As I reached out to touch the frame, a frigid gust of wind swept through the room, extinguishing the flickering candle flames. I was not alone. Eyes locked with the portrait, I felt an invisible force pulling me into its painted abyss. The room dissolved around me, and I found myself standing in a desolate landscape, a realm trapped within the confines of the cursed artwork. Within the painted world, I encountered tormented souls, trapped in eternal suffering. Their anguished cries reverberated through the air, a haunting symphony of pain. They pleaded for release, their sorrow seeping into my very being. But as I ventured deeper into the painted realm, the malevolent artist emerged, a wraith-like figure, consumed by darkness, with a wicked grin. They revealed their intention to keep me trapped forever, an eternal companion to the tormented souls within the painting. Fueled by desperation, I fought against the artist's hold, wielding fragments of forgotten knowledge and invoking ancient incantations. The battle raged on, the very fabric of the painted world warping and twisting in response. With a final surge of will, I shattered the artist's grip, breaking free from the cursed realm. The world outside the painting materialized once more, and I found myself back in my study, gasping for breath. As I caught my breath, a newfound resolve overcame me. The cursed portrait would no longer hold power over innocent souls. With the guidance of the occult expert, we sealed the painting within a sacred vault, ensuring it would never again wreak havoc upon the world. In the aftermath, peace settled within the house. The whispers ceased, and the suffocating presence lifted, replaced by a palpable calm. The cursed portrait, in no way, could no longer torment the living. But the ordeal left scars. Nightmares lingered. The haunting visage of the cursed portrait etched into my memory. I became a guardian of the painting's secrets, determined to protect others from its malevolence. Years passed, and the memory of the cursed portrait faded, a 
cautionary tale whispered among those who dared to listen. I dedicated my life to unraveling other mysteries, ensuring that no other artwork held such potent darkness within its strokes. Yet, in the depths of night, I would sometimes glimpse a flicker of movement within the corners of my vision, a reminder that the curse of the portrait still haunted my subconscious, its presence forever imprinted upon my soul. The cursed portrait remains locked away, a testament to the enduring power of art to capture both beauty and malevolence. Its secrets are kept hidden, a chilling reminder that even the most innocent-seeming creations can hold the capacity for unimaginable terror. As I retire to my study each night, I can't help but cast a wary glance toward the vault that houses the cursed portrait. Its dark energy is contained for now. But I know deep down that the echoes of its curse will forever reverberate within the depths of my being. <laughs>